a lot, and I mean a lot going on nowadays. So if you feel a little tense, maybe even stressed out, trust me, you are simply not alone. What could possibly go wrong? And it already stresses me out, even though it hasn't even happened yet. Every week is something new. It's beef prices, it's produce, it's avocados, it's takeout containers. Now it's fuel. I think it's just one more thing that we have to worry about as a working class, and it's kind of scary. Data from an American Psychological Association poll shows that 80% of adults say that they are significantly stressed, and here's why. We're talking about inflation, financial stress, global uncertainty, the invasion of Ukraine, and the possible retaliation from Russia. Those are just a couple of reasons that we're also stressed. Now, most Americans say that they feel like they have consist consistently been dealing with some sort of crisis without a break. That's been over the past two years. Some of that stress has led to unhealthy behaviors, such as weight gain or loss and alcohol alcohol abuse. So we brought back in mental health educator Sheila Robinson Kiss to discuss healthy habits and to help you and myself handle and reduce the stress that we feel so much. Sheila, I want to dive into this poll actually just a little bit more. Let's bring it up. 87% of those surveyed said that the rising cost of everyday items like groceries, of course gas, are a significant source of stress. So how do we adjust to a financial change? What can we do? Because that feels like it's difficult, but what are ways that we can better manage that financial stress and anxiety. Yeah, thank you so much for having me back. It's <laughs> it's finance, it's yeah. layered, it's it's literally one thing after the other. And what what I like to tell folks and the families that I work with is it is so important that if you have not created a plan, a lot of people are operating without a budget. Now is the time to literally look at your finances, see what you're working with. There may be some things that you have to hold off on. I know myself, every time you go into the store, the cost of flour is up, the cost of eggs right. is up. So the name of the game is facing the realities. And if you need to put something on hold, do that. Anything right now that's going to support minimizing the stress and having a plan, knowing what is in front of you, not kind of nebulous out here in the air, but truly what you're working with, it does reduce stress. Awesome. Make a plan. Okay. Let's also talk about this because at this point, there's nothing we can really do about inflation. It is happening and we don't really know when the pandemic is going to end. So how can we break the vicious cycle of worrying and stressing about things that we can't control? Great question. At the end of the day, particularly in this country, we have enjoyed something called the normalcy bias. That's where we kind of minimize threats so we can feel safe and secure. That's all been crashed into. It's not that it's going to get real. It is real. So what I like to tell folks is follow the three G's every day. You've got to ground yourself and it's not good enough to do it just once. The three G's are this for three minutes three times a day. I want you to just stop wherever you are. You can even do this work internally inside of your head. What am I grateful for? Why? Because when we're grateful, that puts us instant feelings of abundance. We are prone to getting things out of perspective when we're under stress. The second G is what is grounding me? What is most important for me now? And that third G is creating your statement of grit. Something that you can say to yourself instantly, it's kind of edgy, it's in your face, but it's building perspective. So for me, that's lady, what problems? Right. You know, the folks in Ukraine, those are real issues and problems. Keep your perspective. I think that's wonderful. I know that we talked recently about the wireless companies getting rid of the 3G. Now that 3G is gone, let's bring in your 3G to everyone yes. so we can, <laughs> can manage yes. the way that we feel a lot better. Well, and you also touched on this, and I think it's important. You're know, talking about what's happening with Russia and Ukraine. It can be triggering. And I know as individuals, we want to stay informed, but you know, spending a lot of time reading about everything can also make us feel, you know, like there's there's so much we can't do. So how do we manage feeling about that and, and being able to be both engaged in it, but also not stressing ourselves out about it? So a, a couple things. There's always something you can do. Right. Um, there are numerous um, charities where you can donate money, you can donate items. It's important that you get yourself out of feeling powerless. At the end of the day, most of us, we have the news on 24-7. I want you to put some blocks 
around that time. For me, it's, it's a piece of time in the evening and just a little bit in the afternoon. Because what happens when you're constantly watching its secondary trauma and vicarious trauma? It is very real and psychologically and physically, you do feel the weight of that constant barrage of really terrifying scenes. So there's always something you can do. Taking care of yourself so that you can support the people who are dealing with this devastation in Ukraine. Right, you have to put your mask on when you're in an airplane for yourself first before doing it for others. So thank you for that reminder and thank you for so many helpful tips. Sheila Robinson Kiss, we can't wait to have you back on the show again. Thank you. Save more with the Walmart Money Card, a debit match.